Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. And leave comments. Love answering comments. And I may call you out for giving me a idea of something to do. There's been a few. Okay, today let's talk about knives. You know, these things. Actually, what we're going to talk about is something I don't see anybody else doing much on. <coughs> Excuse me. It's gotten, as you can tell by the way I'm dressed, it's gotten a little cool around here. So I had to bundle up a little bit. I get, since COVID, I get real cold easily. Okay. Now, your knife, guys, you can, ha you can use any sharpening method you want. If you want to get those hockey puck looking uh, wet stones, the Arkansas wet stone stuff, you know, where it's got a fine and a coarse side, great. If you know how to use them. If you want to get one of those uh, diamond hoochie coos with, with the sticks that look like this, great. That's a good idea. Personally, myself, I use one of these. It's called a butterfly sharpener. Now, the top half has a steel carbide. You drag your knife through. The only time I ever use the carbide side is if I have to put a chip in a blade and I need to fix it. Otherwise, I don't ever use it. Now, the other side is a ceramic, a fine. Now, when you do this, you just lay your blade in there, let it contact the ceramic, and just draw it across 8, 10, 12 times. That's up to you. It's the next step that's the big step. Folks, this is called a strop. Now, I know you've seen a strop before. Every, it seems like in every cowboy movie, they've either got to go get a shave or a haircut, and the barber or the starts, puts his blade, his, uh, his razor to one of these. And it's got two sides a very fine and a little rougher side. Guys, <coughs> this is what makes your blade, you know, this is what makes your blade shaving sharp. I've been known to sit and watch TV at night and have one of these on a on a coffee table in front of me and just you know for 30 45 minutes it doesn't hurt your blade doesn't it doesn't wear out wear the blade down any it just puts a finer edge on and believe me folks I've got people who will not use my knives I had a woman, I handed her a uh, multi-tool I had, opened the blade up, and she was going to cut some plastic wrapping off something. And I mean, she barely touched it. She said, oh my God, that's sharp. Let me tell you what's bringing this up. I was at Sam's the other day, 
and I saw this really nice looking family in there. Very sharp looking family. And they might have even been preppers as far as I know. Looking what they had in their basket kind of made me wonder. Dad pulls his pocket knife out, which was an, was an old timer blade. I, I, I could recognize the type of knife. And he starts sawing across a piece of pizza. Folks, that tells me his blade's not as sharp as it needs to be. Folks, your blades need to be sharp. And I do mean sharp. You don't know what you're going to have to cut. You know, you may have to cut your safety, you may have to cut your safety belt in the car to get you and your family out of the car. You may have to, you know, cut a piece of canvas. Or maybe even a thick rope. You need to make sure your blades are sharp. You need, and ladies and gentlemen, one of the big things you need to be doing is teaching your children to keep their blades sharp. The worst injuries I've ever seen anybody get comes from the fact of a dull blade. Matter of fact, I'll tell you this, tell you a quick story. Back when the kids were small, there was a we had some friends who loved to go camping and we did too. We was living up in up in Virginia. We went camping. And the camping trip got cut short. Real short. We were fixing to to uh, get ready to fix supper. One of the guys pulled his pocket knife out and he was going to cut some meat down to smaller portions for the kids. What he did was he pulled it towards him and when he did the blade jumped and he stabbed himself. with a blade about that long. If that blade would have been sharp, probability of him, of it jumping wouldn't have happened. Number two, his other mistake was he was pulling the blade towards him. He always cut away. And number three, what made this so bad was he did not have a designated knife for food and for work. The same blade he used for, for eating with is the same one he worked with. Fode, folks, anytime you get around me, you're going to find out I carry two knives. A knife... A knife for cutting food and a knife for cutting other things. I do not want to get sick. You know, I played that game first part of this year. And uh, I didn't like it, so I'm not going to do it again. Alright guys, remember, it's better to have this equipment not need it than need it 
and not have it. And if you're prepping, you're gonna you're gonna live free. I'm the ancient warrior and we're out.